if we look to the answer as to why for so many years we achieved so much, prospered as no other people on earth, it was because here in this land, we unleashed the energy and individual genius of man to a greater extent than has ever been done before. Freedom and the dignity of the individual have been more available and assured here than in any other place on earth. The price for this freedom at times has been high, but we have never been unwilling to pay that price. Those who say that we're in a time when there are no heroes, they just don't know where to look. For 80 years, we have repaired aircraft and supplied armies. We have flown bombers, created air bridges, maintained an arsenal of intercontinental ballistic missiles, and supported contingencies worldwide. Today, Fairchild Air Force Base is the backbone of the Air Force Air Refueling Fleet, a center of excellence dedicated to delivering fuel whenever it's needed anywhere in the world. None of this could be possible without the support of our community partners in the Spokane region and the active duty, National Guard, reservist, and civilian contractors that paved the way for Team Fairchild. The War Department first recognized Spokane's strategic value in 1941. Spokane's distance from the coast and the nearby Cascade Mountain Range provided a natural barrier against a possible Japanese attack. With the support of Spokane civilians and businesses, in January 1942, construction began on what would one day be Fairchild Air Force Base, which was officially activated on March 1, 1942. During this time, the United States was engaged in World War II. Fairchild contributed to the fight with world-class bomber squadron and aerial support. This included some of the first African-American squadrons and female-led squadrons that contributed to the U.S. success in the war. During this time, African-Americans and females were not recognized for their successful contributions to the fight. But without these individuals, we wouldn't be the Team Fairchild we are today. In 1966, Fairchild introduced the U.S. Air Force Survival, Evasion, Resistance, and Escape School, which provided life-saving training to airmen that still continues to this day. As American involvement escalated in Vietnam, so did the demand for air refueling. The Washington Air National Guard joined Team Fairchild in 1976 as the 141st Air Refueling Wing. In the 1980s, we maintained 24-hour alert status, creating a deterrent to attacks against our homeland. In December 1993, Fairchild's 47-year bombardment mission ended, and the 92nd Air Refueling Wing was born. From that moment forward, Fairchild served as the Super Tanker Wing. The air refueling mission would continue throughout the 90s and well into the global war on terror and beyond. After the terrorist attacks on 9-11, Fairchild crews kept 24-hour ground alert and supported operations Enduring Freedom, Iraqi Freedom, and New Dawn. Our refueling wings continue to support contingencies worldwide to preserve our legacy of excellence by providing responsive, precise air refueling and operational support for many years to come. Join us as we commemorate 80 years of leading a legacy. Together, we are the legacy. Together, we are Team Fairchild.